I need my sunnies. Back in the car. I like your rod, um, uh, rod holders. Pre pretty cool. Rock band 2000. Oh yeah. Swing it on the back. I'm gonna bring it because it's like. Can you bother getting it out of the out of the house? Out of the shed. Oh, no, I'll leave that one here. Yeah. yeah Right, hello everyone, how you all going on this beautiful afternoon? I'm here with my friend Dan, one of my old fishing mates from years ago. We're down the harbour, we're going to be fishing the change of light and into darkness, so hopefully we'll get some fish. Dan and I haven't fished together for ages. And man, we've got some stories to tell about our fishing adventures. But, as this is a child friendly uh, program, I'm sorry but we can't tell you some of those stories. Well I can, but I won't. So anyway, uh, stick around as we hopefully get some fish tonight. This is my first night to fish for friggin' ages. Pretty's here. Yeah, I've got a bag of pennies there as well. Yeah, oh, but they just pennies. 20 bucks, 2 kilo bag. Not cheap. Oh, you're going already? Far out. I think there's much current. That's good. The last time I was here, the sink has held pretty well. Quite exciting. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm going to go for them this way. Okay, have you got some squid out yet? No. Is there some squid there? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we'll carry on. Good, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Now we're just hanging around to catch some fish now. 
our four rods are in the water can't believe it how blooming warm it is for winter it's warmer here than in my house so we've got I've got squid on my two rods what do you got in yours Dan? squid uh, and Some salt and vinegar chips. Oh, here he is. Dan the fisherman, we call him. Oh, we used to call him that. <laughs> so here we are. Cheese, Dan. It's uh, Cheers, man. the old bourbons. You can't beat a good bourbon, especially if it's do it like that. Focus, grasshopper. Get the uh, Woodstock bourbon. Let's try those out. I can hardly bend over. Cheers. Cheers, man. Skull. It's unusual. What, bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> what, it's unusual drinking bourbon? Yeah, I haven't done that for years. <laughs> I haven't done it since, uh, since before I could put you up. Oh, I mean, yeah, three years ago. Yeah. What you've got to do though, you know, if you want to catch some fish, you just don't sit around here and, and, and sit Bourbon's around. It's important because it keeps you warm when you're out on a cold night. It keeps you warm mm. and it keeps you wet. Mm. Right, ready now. Four rods out, so we should see how we get on. Oh, see the bait fish, see, told you. Missed it again. Mm -hmm. I'm watching my rods. I know you're not very good at that. Hey! Oops, didn't hear that. There's more fish in the water there. Yeah, I'll check this on, look at that. You're yeah, glow in the dark. Ooh. I've got two of these, but my other ones, my ones have got no batteries in them. So I'll stick it on this rod. Nice bend in the rod. It's going to be a uh, stingray. Well, it's not really putting that much of a fight. Trevally? It's just weight. Nice. That is an eel. Oh, you have got an eel. Look at it. This is um, hooked in the lips anyway. And have you Dan? He's slain it. Slain it, bro. Oh, I'm so amazing. <laughs> Just don't say that on camera. <laughs> Mineral water. Yeah. This is. Um, yeah. Interesting mineral water. See, so that's how we do it here. Fish hard. Uh, that's about it. Oh, uh, she just fish actually. It's not moved. We have got it's a huge one. It's huge. That is what it's all about, guys. Oh, look, how do you see it? Camouflaged itself. There you go, look at that. 
you know what I'm gonna do with him? I'm gonna keep him. What do you reckon? Yeah. It's a good feed, eh? It's a feed, eh? Yep. Half a feed. That's how we do it here. That's how we do it. I could species fish. <laughs> Don't. Curious. That's how we do it. See? So I'm going to dispatch him very gently. Like that. Break his gills. And then we smash his neck open. And feed him. And we have it. Lunch tomorrow. Breakfast. So normally you go drink the blood, but it's enjoying the camera. Yeah. Little kahawai. Good little eaters those ones. Very good. So we do it. Bigger than the last one. Two minutes after catching the last fish, we've got this one here. That feels nice. That feels nice. It doesn't feel like a needle. I don't even know, but it's gone towards you. It could be cover on. Here it comes. Oh boy. Ooh, another nice kahoi, is it? Yeah, look at that one. Nice. Wow. So that was taken on half a portrait as well. Oh, that's getting better, eh? fish. That's much better. Two fish in about two minutes. Up a hook, two, hook, two hooks on there. Hooked both of them. He was going nowhere that fish. Nice big kahoi. Beautiful. Catch him and tuck some more baits out. I've got two rods out of the water now. Oh, he's well hooked. Look at that. Yep, that's right then. Dispatch him. He's still on. Here he comes. That is a snapper. Oh. That's what I was after. Look at that. It's 30 centimetres. That's a legal snapper, yep. Yeah. 30? Yeah. Nice. Half a pilchard, that one. Exactly what I was after. Target species was that. Nice. Oops. Nice little snapper. Oh, he's just hooked too. Just check the other roots. Yep. Nice little harbour snapper. Here we go. Right. Time to beat up again, I think. Nice snapper. You keep him in the brain. He's as dead as that fella. Dan, Dan, the useless fish man. Yeah, he'll be like that. <laughs> You're average. Yeah.
Right, so here we are now at the wharf, and we're going to have a, or Dan's going to have a few casts out here. And I've got my soft bait rod, and I'm going to try in a little squid, little squid wood, squid jig. I'm going to try and uh, squid for some, some squid here, or jig for some squid, I mean. So, we've got a nice bit of light as well, which is great. And I've never done squidding before, so... Looking forward to trying it out for the first time. And hopefully there might be some squid here. So let's get our gears on and let's go and do it. Dan's ready. He to make around man, that's follow. Let's get on to it. Squid wood. So the um, well, I've seen the guys using the squid jigs. It's an awful they got all these fancy ones, but here we go. Look at that. All right, I'm excited. Let's give it a go. Little NC rod and reel. So you're supposed to. Oh, what a cast! Yeah, it's a car, boy. Hey, you doing? Don't drop it, bro. Oh, nice one, man. Awesome. It's your first real fish in how many hours? Six hundred and forty. <laughs> <laughs> no, not days. Hours. Well done. Oh, first one tonight, hey. Look at that. Oh, what is it? It's a kahawai then. Well done. Yeah, Who said you had, who said you lost your mojo? You did. Oh, okay. But I didn't say it in the, in the last five minutes, did I? Yeah. Oh, oh, well done, man. Right, that's your tea tomorrow night. You got to chuck it back at, apparently, first fish. Not the first fish. Depending on whether you're calling an air the fish. Uh, whoa. Well, trying to cut its head off with the chopping board. <laughs> uh, just knock it out. Oh, yep. Yeah. See, it's how, it's how Dan bleats his fish. Oh, he's just munted it. <laughs> he's just cut his head off. Uh, I don't know his head. Okay. There's a rule of thumb. This is the best. Best spot I've ever fished. Night time, high tide, chucking it in. Look at that. Just on the edge of the light. Dan's telling me all about his fishing. Ooh. Secret, a secret stuff that only I should know, but you guys are going to know. End of the light, chuck it out as far as you can. No. Oh. The edge of the light. Oh, edge of the light bulb. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to have a rest from that old bloody squidding. Get back to my trusty old Excalibur. Got to catch some more fish. Squidding, man, it's just freaking me out. After three casts, no, no, no squid. Bloody frustrating stuff. Yeah, unlike fishing. Unlike fishing. But anyway, I'm going to check this out and I'll get back to the old squidding. We're still here at the harbour. It's full of. Oh, this is a nice fish. Another kahawai, eh? 
Oh, are you? Yep. Nice, bro. Oh. oh. Bugger. Who's that one? Whoa! I think those are the size we've been getting bites from. Good eaters though. Where's the hook? Spin it. That's a good eater. I think it was funny, I did a, a cast and I cast it from over here to on the on the GD over here. Look, what a blimmin' amateur thing didn't even go into the water. Fish on Dan. Here it is. Oh, look at that, hey? Eh? What a blimmin' dork. Oh, that's a good size one. It's better, isn't it? Took that one. That's a better size fish for you. Yeah. All right, calm down. Well, there's Dan's fish for tonight here at the wharf. Uh, three, four, five, six nice kahawai. Good little eaters, of those ones. There's old Dan, he hasn't stopped all night. Well, this uh, here anyway. But there's Dan's catch. Got nothing in the harbour. You got them all here. Hey, eh? look at that. What do you say about that? He doesn't do. It's the man, Dan the man, here. He's right. And I'm Famous. happy. Yeah, we did it right, see? Booyah! Booyaka shaka! So we're going to pack up now and head home, it's bloody late, Get some sleep. pretty late, I don't know what time it is but it's late, <laughs> not as late as it can be but as late as it is, yep so we'll pack up and another day tomorrow. We got home too late last night for me to clean them up so I'm going to do them now. Nice, tasty harbour kahawai. In pretty good condition too. Right, hello everyone. We had a bit of an epic fishing trip last night. Me and my mate Dan, we managed to get a few fish. I got three in the harbour. He got one eel, and then um, went to the wharf, and I got a couple of little ones, and Dan Bimmon pulled home six, six kahawai. So. I'm just doing that one for breakfast here. It's one of the little ones here. Just pointing it. Got some nice little fillets there. Oh, my cat can hear me. It's nice little fillets of kahawai there. And that will cook up beautifully. It's a shame it's raining today, I'll go outside and cook
quick one for you on the old charcoals. So anyway, so there's our little pad of kahawai fillets. I'll scale this one and I'll also we'll scale the, the snapper as well. Just trying to get scales all in the kitchen. Lucky I went fishing last night because otherwise I would have not been able to go out today. Yeah, I'm going to cut these fins as well. These ones up here, man, as sharp as these ones, these fins up here, very sharp. I have them and pricked my finger last night. That was bloody hurt. One there, and we also will cut off. I've got that one there.
kind of white bullets. Some snapper, yeah, why not? Mmm, man, that is nice. Get my tongs out. Oh, it's nice and juicy, too. Look at that. Mmm, now that is a great way to have whole snapper. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice. Mm, that's beautiful. A bit more. Mmm. Mmm, that is yummy. Mmm. Mmm. So the first thing I'm going to do in my head is I'm going to eat the eye because I always eat the eyeballs first as you guys know Look at that Look at that eyeball Watch this Look at that mm. Man that's the best part of the fish is the eyeball Oh another one there Look he's got two eyes on this fish Look at that one Mmm, look at that eyeball. Who wants to eat that? Mmm, yeah. Beautiful. Mmm. Look at that. The cheekbones. Actually, it's the brain. Snapper brain. Yeah. Um, that's how you eat eyeballs out of a fish. That would be the best part of the fish. Is behind the head. That is so nice. Mmm, right next. A bit of kahawai with a bit of lemon and dill on there. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Lemon and dill. Mmm. Crushed it. 